I'm set Dion Nuggies are ready. Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, The Talking Ball Clava. Today we're going over this sick ass Mac 11. And boy, is this thing sick ass. I'm sorry, Mom. Slavia, you're gonna have to bleep out the ass word. I love playing the character on a bike that's like your little brother that's out of breath, but then you roll up to your older sisters and you like think that one older sister's friend's hot and you're like, hi, hi Veronica, did you, did you see my 180? And she's like, what? And you're like, oh, okay. And you just like bike away. Like that was me growing up. I mean, that's me, that's me still now. Oh. Now the Mac 11 is a product of some OG machinery. This thing is gonna be old, gentlemen. The design of it, everything about it is old, but it has a facelift. It has some new parts on it. So what exactly is going on? Well, my buddies over at Badlands, let me borrow this bad boy. So this thing has the Lage Manufacturing upper on the gun. Now, Lage Manufacturing essentially was building custom parts and a bunch of other accessories for the Mac series of firearms to make them a little bit more modern. The OG Macs have issues with the fact that they're just old and they're kind of outdated. So throwing cool stuff on the gun makes it a little bit trickier. Now this Mac 11 is not mine, as though I wish it was. It belongs to a great friend of the channel. Luis, get over here, get over here. Luis of Badlands, how you doing, sir? Good, man, you? Doing good, here. Thanks for letting me borrow this Mac 11. What would you like to tell my audience? Keep watching videos, stay rad, that's about it. A man of few words but impactful ones. More on Luis here in a bit. You know, I know you're on the toilet, I know you're watching this, consuming your coffee, drinking your beer, doing something maybe you shouldn't be doing like time thefting from your overlords at your place of employment. It's none of my business, but what you should do is get down in that comment section, leave a comment and say hi to the Mac 11 and chamber to nine millimeter. If you want to support the channel, Patreon, excellent way to support the channel. We have a Discord, we stay up late, we talk about girls, mainly and day armors from Blade Runner. You look lonely. As well as merchandise also helps out the channel greatly. All right. Let's get back to the Mac 11. But we also have to thank the sponsor of this video, which is going to be, we of course have to thank USCCA. Training, education, and peace of mind in turbulent times is an excellent thing to have, and it'll help you sleep a little bit better at night. We also have to thank Sonoran Desert Institute. Get accredited at Gunsmith's training and help me out with my dream meme builds. Do it. Links for both sponsors will be in the description down below. Okay, let's get back to the Mac 11. Now, what makes this gun so cool? Well, the thing about Macs is that, historically speaking, and on the market, they are pretty much the most affordable affordable MGs that you can get. Essentially, the company back in the day when, when the uh, ban was announced back in what, 86, essentially this company raced to get as many of these receivers out as possible and they became fully transferable. Now, the problem with the guns themselves, like the OG Max, is that they're kind of outdated for what they are. And the cool thing about Lage is that them coming along and giving a facelift to the guns, it allows you to essentially, like I was saying, put a lot of accessories on and get more bang for your buck, I would say. As far as these being the most affordable MGs on the market, yeah, they're gonna be expensive for what they are, for the piece of metal that they are, but for the amount of fun you get out of it, I would say highly enjoyable. The cyclic rate on this bad boy is looking around 1,200 rounds per minute, so that's very fast. That's up in that MG42 territory. And I will tell you, the hardest part about today's range day was actually just loading mags because you burn through the mags so quick. So here's a really quick example. Here we got some Badlands uh, 115. Tally ho! You can see just how quickly you can dump a mag. Now that's a fun fact. We'll actually talk about, well, oh, lost my equilibrium. Now, a cool thing, let's see what it actually does with some heavier grain ammo. This is gonna be Badlands Jello rounds. 147 grains, thick. Tally ho! It's a much better recoil control. Tally ho! Make ready! <laughs> Oh man, I can't even, can't even keep it in character. It's, uh, those are 115 grains, and then yet again, we'll do some jellos in there. Much more controllable. So that's a cool little feature. Now, of course, the practicality of that fire rate 
is going to be questionable in a very serious situation. I believe if my history serves me correct, there were high speed guides like Navy SEALs using like the Mac 10s, Mac 11s. Then of course, once they discovered MP5s, they quickly got away from them. Because of what the gun is, you know, it's really cool, it's really compact, but it doesn't have that surgeon ability in full auto, let's say like an MP5 would. But I will say it, the fun factor is off the charts. Now it's always good to get the truth from the horse's mouth. In this case, it's this handsome vicero, Luis. Luis, tell me your experience running your own gun. Cause I only ran it for a little bit today, but you own this bad boy. What was it, what was it like hooting and hawing? So it was a fun build. Um, they're very easy to, it's just two holes and then she's a MG. To tell you the truth, our customers shoot this the most. Yeah. I, I haven't shot this very much. Uh, it's mostly a fun thing that we keep around to let other people enjoy it. Yeah, I was in your guys' shop, I saw it and I was like, okay, I haven't touched a Mac for a video yet. I wanna touch a Mac. I said, wow, what a really nice Mac you have. I, I, you know what, you guys unsubscribe. Every time I do a Trump impersonation, you have to unsubscribe. I really enjoyed shooting this. I think it's a really fun gun, especially for what it is and kind of the price point you can get into the MG game with. Customer of ours, bought one for about 13. Mm. If you know anything about MGs, that's gonna be like the lowest price point. Yeah. They're a great investment if you got some money. They only just go up in value. And these things just run, man. This thing's got almost 20,000 rounds through it, so. Dang, that's a lot of, that's a lot of rounds going through it's it. cleaned once. That's impressive, yeah. actually. As much as I do love the Hilux, trying to do like high-speed car gun guy shenanigans is kind of tricky. I will say it's a little, little tight in here. A little for my American size. But so far, I think this gun set up pretty nicely. Got the EOTech EXPS3 on there. Got a Zinico Purse 4. And on here, we got the Rex MG7 can on here. Overall, the gun set up pretty good. This is kind of like um, poor man's version of the MP7 in that category because getting a real MP7, of course, is gonna be very hard and expensive. I do love shooting SMGs in their fast firing setting. Find that when you try and shoot a sub gun in semi-automatic, it's so like boring now. It's still fun, but it's still boring because it's not what they're meant to be. It's kind of like tying or kissing your sister. Nobody wins, unless you're in Alabama, then I guess that's your thing. <sighs> Gentlemen, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. Your comments are sacrificed to the algorithm god, a god of which who enjoys your user face interaction. If you want to support the channel, Patreon merchandise, as said before. As always, gentlemen, stay easy, stay breezy. I'll catch you on the flip.